can you say amazing? Can you say amazing, awesome day? Nice fresh snowfall, it's still snowing. I'm so excited. Finally got my snowshoes out, out at the shelter. I can't wait to spend the day out here. All right, so today we're going to start a little fire, cook up some yummy stuff, and we're gonna make the raised bed today. So I'm gonna be out here for a little bit. Join me, I think you'll like this video. nice and dry in the shelter all where the cedar branches are the only place where there's snow is up there by the fire pit but that's okay because once we start the fire it'll all dry up but all good everything else is dry here got some dry wood A nice flat rock I wanted for in the shelter. Don't know if I'm going to use it as a table or something with the fire pit, but I've been eyeing it up so. Clear this fire pit area out. Get things ready. Yeah, so there's that rock I picked up so far as a table, not bad.
before I left last time, I brought some logs in to dry. I'm glad I did that. So we'll cut them up. We're gonna have a, a long fire today. We'll be out here for a good four hours. All right, cut these babies up. Before we start the fire, we got to put the essentials in the snowbank, get them cold. This is a new one. It's from Bose. It's called Country Vibes. I'm really excited to try this one. Yeah, we'll put it in the snowbank, get them cold. There's our fridge. birch bark I saved up on my last trip out. It's good and dry. Nice and snappy. That'll get things dried up in here. Why the fire's going nice there, we're going to get things ready to build our raised bed. So I'm thinking this log that I brought in will be the base of the bed to run the branches along. So this one cut in half will be perfect. So let's cut this one in half. here. Move it down a little bit. Okay. There'll be one at this end. I'll move it down farther once I move everything here. Ooh, fire's warming things up. Now let's go get all the branches that are going to go this way. So let's go look for some nice branches. Now I want them a little bit springy because 
I want it to be comfortable. I don't want to be like, as soon as you sit on it, it's going to be hard, hard, or lay on it, be hard, hard. So there's lots of smaller trees around. Yeah, see, there's lots of nice small trees in here. So I'm going to go check those out. All right. These ones are already, they're already leaning over pretty well, not lively. So I'm going to cut ones this size. gonna go measure with my feet by stepping to see how long I need the branches. Great. All right, six steps is what I need. I got about four cut already to the length that I need. So let's see when I put them in, how many more I'll need. Looking good. I think I'll need a good 15 pieces altogether. So let's get cut. Time for a cold one. Yeah. Let's go have a break. Nice cold beer. Like I was saying, it's called Country Vibes from Bose Brewing Company. It's uh, an amber beer. I like amber beers. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. So, so far, it's just dripping, dripping where the fire is, which I'm okay with. If it's going to start to drip here over my bed area, I have some plastic that I'll put when I do come and stay overnight. I wanted to keep it all natural, so that's why I haven't put any plastic. 
I like keeping my shelters natural. So, but so far, the snow isn't leaking here yet. We'll put the rest of our branches we have here and see how many more we need. All right, there's a few I gotta cut some limbs off, so I'll leave those. My knife. I think I like that one. Not very straight. No thanks. I do want some longer, so like if I need to sit something on there. Gonna sit on it, see how it is. Oh yeah, perfect. So I'll need five more. All right, we got a nice bed of coals. So now I have all the five pieces cut to finish off the bed. But first we're gonna put on some lunch. I wanted to make biscuits, so I'm gonna make cheese and garlic drop biscuits. I really, bread is my downfall. I love homemade bread, homemade biscuits. Try not to eat it too much, but when I'm out in the bush, I like to make the stuff I love. So let's get started on that, and then we'll finish off the bed. I always pack the dry ingredients in a Ziploc bag. So in here, I wrote it all down so I'll remember. I got this off of a YouTube channel. I have a lot of people I watch, cooking channels, and I'll put down in the description what channel this is off of, and also the ingredients will be down in the description. So this is, I halved everything so I could make just a small batch. So in here, I have one cup of flour, a half a tablespoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. So that's all in this bag. So we're going to add it to this bowl. That's all the dry ingredients. And I always bring a little extra flour in case I need more if I make a mistake. Ooh, I can smell the garlic. And in here is a cup of cheese, but you can put as much cheese as you want, depending on how you like it. And the butter, you need the butter cold so it stays crumbly in the flour. So. This is, let me see, this is a quarter 
a quarter cup of butter. And I'm just going to leave a little piece for buttering my biscuits. So I'm going to just leave a little slice there. So I'm going to cut it all up in cubes. And then you just take a fork and you smush all the all the butter into just mix it around into the flour so you just want it kind of crumbly then you'll add your cheese oh yeah these are gonna be good Cheese all in. Now these are called cheese and garlic drop biscuits. So when you add the milk, a half a cup of milk, and you're just going to add it slowly because you want your texture to be really heavy and doughy because they're called drop biscuits. You just drop them in on the pan that you're cooking. So we'll just add the milk slowly. I'll just add that so far. So still a little bit left of milk. So we want to mix this first to see before I add it all. I think that's going to be good. All right, that looks perfect there. Spot in the fire to put our cast iron frying pan. my tongs for a reason. There we go. So like usual, I have my two cast iron frying pans. I'm going to put one right on the bottom with some parchment paper. And you're just going to form them a little bit and just drop them right in on the parchment paper. The half of the half of ingredients make around six nice size biscuits. But we're going to try to do five in my well, maybe we'll do four. All right. So then we're going to add your cast iron frying pan on top. Perfect. Then we'll just put some coals on top. There's lots of coals for this fire. It's been going, the fire's been going for a good two and a half hours now. We'll let that cook for 20 minutes and then we'll check it. While that's cooking for 20 minutes, we'll work on our bed. Let's bring in the other ones that I just cut up and see how everything fits. Yeah, I'll just have to 
trim a few areas, but that's all right. Two more pieces and we'll see if that's all we need. I think that is all we need. We'll bring it up. That will look really crooked. Alright. Alright. Got one piece. One piece that's really crooked. So, just got to bring that end up a little bit with a few rocks. All right. So, this one's here. So got rocks everywhere, so a couple of rocks I'll put at the base. This end. Lift it up a little. There we go. Per. Yeah, that's all we needed. Just up the... Up a little bit. All right. So one more stick's going to be perfect. One more. Not this one. It's pretty crooked. So, and then I'll eventually cut this off because it's uh, this side's too long. Okay, everyone, the bed is complete. Now we'll just put the pad on here and check it out. I just brought my little pad for now. All right, let's try it. Blanket here I can use for my pillow. Excellent. Perfect. This is great, everyone. All right. That is the job I wanted to get done today. I'm going to put some jute twine and uh, connect them to the log that I have on the bottom. But we're going to check the biscuits first. The biscuits are ready to come off. Look at them. They smell amazing. Let's, let's dig into these. Get my butter. They look and smell amazing. They're hot. Oh, I wish you could smell them, everyone. Wow. I don't even think... I don't even think I need butter. Now that's a delicious biscuit to cook in the woods. All cooked through, cheese, garlic. That made it worth coming out today. All right, just making all the branches even. My hands are sore from cutting so
so many trees. I'm gonna have blisters tomorrow. One more to make them all even. All right, here we go. It was a small one. There. Now, I'm just going to take some jute twine, twine them all together, and go underneath the big log that I have. So let's get that done. Some jute twine cut already. We'll sit. I'll have a, a seat for this job. Okay. Canadian jam knot again. Do a knot at the end, then a loop, and tie it in another knot. And tighten that knot and see how it doesn't, that knot at the end holds it tight. So what shall I do first? Let's go under and around a couple of the branches. A good little tight. Snug them in there. And then I think I will go around one more. There we go. And then give it a snug. Make sure it's all in there. Okay. Then we're going to wrap it all the way back. Bring it all through to those last branches. You don't have to pull too tight because you have to get the other ones tight as well. Then Bring it through and under, under the log, under your base log again. Bring that through. And now give that a good tug. Then we'll wrap around all the logs from the top. I'm going to do one more around the top again. And then I'll go around the base in the back as well. Just pick anywhere that you want to tie it off itself. Right here looks good. There we go. That's not going anywhere now. So then I'll also do the same to the top of the bed. 
And we're all done. All right, everyone. Well, this is nice and cozy now with the bed made. So I'm just gonna call it a day. Biscuits turned out amazing. I definitely will be making those again. A few little things I'm gonna do before I leave, clean up, but uh, thanks for coming along with me today, everyone. Cheers. Catch you on the next one. The bed is perfect.